It's day one and um, it's been great. Um, I felt a little bit of fear, but mostly I've just felt so grateful to the porters. I got very emotional. I, I didn't realize I'd cry, um, but I did seeing all those, um, you know, men who are helping us get up this mountain and meeting Sarah and all the other ladies. I just, I feel so grateful. <laughs> Day two has been, it's been wonderful because it started to sink in that I'm on Mount Kilimanjaro and um, I, I never thought in my life that I'd be here. So it's really starting to sink in as I look around, as I pole pole, um, I'm not an emotional person but I'm, I'm starting to get emotional. I'm starting to realize the magnitude of what it is that we're doing and just the support from the guides, the support from the other women. Um, it's just been incredible, incredible fellowship. It's just been an amazing time and it's just starting to sink in slowly now that, that this is what we're doing. We, we're trying to reach Uhuru. <laughs>
we get to journey on this journey and get to know the ladies we've come to realize that we are united in our diversity um, we keep saying the mantra one team one dream and that's to get to the top of this mountain right here and not only that just the strength of the women and um, talking about South Africa's Women's Day made me think about the Namibian women who've done incredible things like the 10th of December Kakurukazi Mungunda um, so it's just been an incredible journey so far and the South Africans keep on saying if you strike a woman you strike a rock and in Zulu that would be at base camp after days and days of making up our way Kilimanjaro and it's been incredible so this is what base camp looks like that's my Wednesday behind us and you'll see a shot of um, Kilimanjaro right behind us so we start our trek this evening at midnight the real hard work begins it's been hard work all the way up um, but tomorrow the real hard work begins as we pole 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 one step at a time I love the quote by Mandela, it always seems impossible until it's done. Believe in yourself and the world will believe in you. Even when they don't see it, they will make it impossible for them to ignore you by your performance, your resilience, your grit and your determination. More importantly, be good, have the spirit of Ubuntu. I am because you are. Nobody gets to the top on their own. <laughs> Guys, for choosing us, and I think you're gonna be a good ambassador to us. Mm -hmm. Don't say kill is killing you. Um, yesterday was a really emotional day, um, reflecting on it now because this is the following day after we, I successfully summited, we successfully summited Uhuru, I realized how momentous this was, not only for myself, um, but for all the ladies on this journey, we leave enriched, we leave better. And um, I just remember holding Sarah's hand as we got to Uhuru. 5,800 and up meters above sea level and at the back of my mind there was that thing um, you know that you have that feeling will I summit won't I summit and when I reached it and you have this realization that um, that which you think is impossible is actually possible and that if you set a goal that you may be able to achieve it and it was done with a lot of support um, it was a beautiful journey one that has certainly enriched my life. It was such a, it was an amazing journey. I, I'm failing to put it into words, 
because this was everything that I needed and to do it with women <laughs> once in a lifetime. Um, I first of all want to give a big thank you to Future Media um, because I went to my CEO Gary and I told him I had read Sarah's book, uh, Sarah's book and then I said to him that I want to summit Kilimanjaro and he looked at me and he said put a proposal together and I didn't even think about summit partners at that time and our sales manager Nikki Wilson she helped me put a proposal together we went together to see Momentum and a big thank you to Momentum Namibia for supporting me on this entire journey throughout um, with my awesome summit gear, <laughs> um, with all my gear for Kilimanjaro, with my flight tickets, with everything. You have been the best summit partners from meeting me at the airport to the many conversations we've had. Um, you surely were here for my journey to success. So I want to thank them um, to Radio Wave, to Juan, who's also supported me throughout this journey, giving me the ample amount of leave days that I needed to come. Um, so their major thank yous going out um, to, to Future Media, to Radio Wave, and of course to Momentum Namibia. It wouldn't have been possible without Momentum. Thank you for being the greatest summit partners um, that I could have asked for. Thank you. Asante sana, as we say in Tanzania.